we're back here with TX Plays, and back in Forza Motorsport 7, and back in the Renault Gam. So, we have looked at aerodynamics and the drive rates, and so what I've done now, in between, is I've upgraded every component that I can to its sport component. So that's sport tyres, sport suspension, all the sport engine parts, uh, all the sport suspension parts. So if it had a sports option, it's now on the car. The car now comes in as an A-Class at 607. And we're going to give it a test against this. That's right, we're going to test on Moreno again against this Bentley Continental GT Speed. Why this Bentley? Well, it's an A-Class car. The PI of 607, exactly the same as our upgraded GAN. And, well, that seems like a fair fight. You've got the same PI. The Bentley is heavier. Is stock straight out of the car showroom. Haven't done anything to it, apart from choose purple, which is one of its stock colours. Quite like it, personally. And we're going to give them both a bit of a hot lapping session around Sebring. Got a different circuit. Uh, and see which one is quicker around here. The Bentley is going to be up first. So, this is the Bentley's fastest lap. We're using replay mode here. Um, I didn't realise it didn't tell me lap times and stuff in here, so good job I wrote it down. Um, the Bentley I found quite hard to drive to start off with. It's quite heavy. Uh, you, it's got st obviously running on its, its stock tyres, its stock brakes. And so slowing down for some of the corners initially was a bit interesting. Obviously it kind of carries on going with its weight momentum. Um, but it's, after a while you get the hang of it. The four-wheel drive gives it some real oomph out of the corners. And once you get the hang of slowing down, braking a bit earlier than you would do in, in other cars, it actually proved to be quite, proves to be quite quick. And coming up to the hairpin here, a little bit of puff of tyre smoke, but hook up the apex nicely. And the apex on the far corner. On the way out. And then as we head down the back, trying to be brave as I can in this big heavy car. I find if you mess up in it, you mess up you mess up good. Um, breaking heavily into this corner. In the lap beforehand, I slid off sideways into that tyre bundle on the side. I get the getting the acceleration out just trying to make sure in this bit with the little wiggly bits just trying to be as brave as I can not breaking in corners where I don't need to break and letting the car do the work trying to hit the apexes hit the exits coming down here into this last of the sharp corners sorry I'm going for a little kink here I ran a little bit wide which didn't really infect my car that much probably actually helped me because I was able to carry the momentum around in through this final little kink in the track and onto the big straight here barreling it down the straight as quick as I can and obviously just full throttle concentrating on that last corner this last corner I find really difficult at times I sometimes find that I go in lose too much speed on the first part of the corner it's a weird shape I lose a little bit too much speed in the first part don't carry enough in the second part. That time I carried too much into the first part, but managed to get it neat and tidy in through the second part of that corner, back onto the start finish straight, where I crossed the line in a 2 minutes 30.639, so a reasonable time for the Bentley. So the Bentley 230.639. I want to get under 230 with it. Maybe the McGann can do that instead. McGann, as you can see, has three laps with its sport setup. Try and beat that time. I was unlikely to do it on the first lap.
Obviously I've driven the Megane a lot more than I've driven the Bentley, although not much with this sports consideration. A few laps around Mugello just to get the hang of it and to see whether it made it quicker, which obviously it does. I got that corner nicely on the first attempt. Never normally do that one. So this car is quicker than it was, as you would expect. But is it quicker than a car we can buy at the same PI? Obviously this isn't scientific. It comes down to how well I can drive either car. Pretty tidy lap with the Bentley, so I need to get a pretty tidy one with them again. I just seem to be doing right now, so that's kind of annoying because this might be my good lap. The eagle eyed of you will notice a change to the logo just to get rid of the. got rid of the uh, borders around it. That uh, YouTube and the Twitter borders because I downloaded those from someone else and it prevented me sharing any of my designs so I had to get rid of those to put this new one on which is, I think stands out a lot nicer it's got a little big black border around it so on the green the letters stand out a bit clearer and I can make it a little bit bigger on the, bun on the bonnet so we've got the Find Me Car Shows for those of you interested in your car shows findmecarshows.uk good place to find what's going on nearby or around the country and if you can't make car shows also a good, good Instagram account to follow for some pictures of some nice cars ok 235 straight out the bat not that fast gonna make 5 seconds there this lap Deep into that one and take out that cone. And being deep into that one means I haven't got the right line into this, to that corner. Three point eight. Probably lost a little bit in there, so it should be nearer to four seconds. chicane, good hairpin, the corner catches me out a lot especially when racing through the little kink break 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 and be brave through these little bits, a little lift there because the car was just starting to slide be brave in these little kinks in section. Quite a really tough little section just to nail it right, hit the apexes. Got a bit more time on my first lap. That one full bravery. This one full bravery. Low down here. Try and get this bit right because this is obviously. One here, it's important for this big back straight. Let's get on the power as soon as I can, not too soon. It's close, 4.6 upon my previous time. And now, this horrible final corner on the concrete. Get this nailed in. A little bit great. Easy on the power, but again, I want to get on the power. I want to get out of this corner. I want to get some drive going. Lack of four-wheel drive in this car. Ooh, that's close. 0 0.7. 0 0.1, one thousandth of a second. Sorry, one tenth of a second slower than the Bentley. Last time in here last time, that's much better. I can accelerate through these through that corner. Get this one right. 
How are we doing? Oh, we're down. That section felt better. I don't know why we're down. Yeah, don't worry about it now, just focus on the rest of the lap. A little bit deep into there. But a decent enough line. This car feels better on the brakes into the corners than the Bentley was. But doesn't have the without the four-wheel drive it's hard to get the drive out of the corners again. Let's go full bravery. Pick out wide, try and get a later apex. Power down. Just sliding a lot. This car is definitely suffering from its narrower tyres. Or from having this extra power, this extra grunt. But not having those white, slightly wider tyres, I think, is hindering this car. More than I'd actually expected it would. I think it's going to be a pr big issue for it once we get into once we put it into sports setter. Down this back straight, we'll take both cars to to Circuit Massad in a minute. Down the Molsan, but they're both liking top speed. I we'll get this corner right. If there's any time, go wide. Try to power on quicker. Get faster out. Just drift in it. I lose a lot of speed out of that. I don't think this is going to be quicker. It wasn't. So, one tenth of a second between the two cars around this circuit. That's close. So, let's take them to the mom. See which is quicker in a straight line. So Bentley clearing the first chicane, it's in 185, still going up, have a feeling this might be tough for them again. 93, it's slowing down, 194, 195, still creeping, 197. That coming out, losing speed since it's still going up. 198. 99. Oh! Bail out! Bail out 199 miles an hour. So, as we approach the Molsan straight, in the McGann, 199 miles an hour to beat. Means the McGann has to make it into the 200 mile an hour club. Don't think with the sports package. I wonder if it can do that. Higher shouldn't help, shouldn't be a hindrance here. Twenty miles an hour slower. Over 20 miles now, slow at the first she came. Well, we seem to be slowing down at 167. We've been 180 at the chicane. First chicane, Bentley. And there we go, 167, the Bentley, slightly quicker around the racetrack than the Renault. Uh, slightly quicker around the racetrack and a lot quicker in a straight line. Who'd have thought? So, 
next time we're going to upgrade this car to race race kit and see what that does and uh, I don't know maybe I'll upgrade the Bentley to match maybe we'll choose another car if you've got any opinions let me know on the on the YouTube comments on my YouTube channel and this has been TX Plays Balls and Motorsport 7 thank you very much for watching and we will catch you later on Mm-hmm.